scheduled for one fall, no time limit. We're seeing the Mid Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. I'm assuming the coach will let us know who's wrestling. something written into Trevor Lee's ongoing contract with CWF as long as he's champion. Absolutely. He was the one that added that clause that he wants no time limit for all his matches. Speaking of contracts, I got a question for you, Brad Stokes. Does this count as one of the coach's title shots? Oh, that's a great point. I don't know. I, you know, Trevor made the challenge. Because he had three. He's used one. I think that's something we'll find out in the coming weeks. Trevor Lee is waiting on the All-Stars. Trying to see who it's going to be. At this point, you got to figure it's either Kazi or Lude. Could be the coach. Could be Alvin Cyrus floating in somewhere. Let's not get ahead of our What if Cyrus like popped in the back door in like a squad car with the sirens blaring? With like this trooper hat and everything? Yes! Guns incredible. a blazing? Man, that's probably not a good idea. It looked like something from Super Troopers. Coach has apparently appointed Lance Lude. Coach has appointed Lance Lude. And it looks like here we go. One fall for the Mid Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. Yep, Lude is in the ring. Trevor wants Lude. Crowd here is 100% behind Trevor Lee. Right. And I got to feel like... Trying to listen in on what Kazi's saying out there. And after as much of a delay of game as we could possibly stand from the All-Stars, it will be Lance Lude answering the call of Trevor Lee, who last week, after we went off the air on CWF Worldwide, said he would defend the championship tonight against anyone from the All-Stars, anyone from the Moneyball franchise. And the All-Stars were just about penalized for stalling before we finally got our answer that it would be Lance Lude challenging Trevor Lee, Cecil Scott, a very befitting main event matchup for this episode 50 of CWF Worldwide. Absolutely. We got to a half century with this thing. And uh, this is a matchup that's happened a few times. And these two have never failed to produce an exciting contest. And I feel like when Trevor made this challenge, I think in the back of his mind, he kind of wanted Kazi to step up and take that challenge. Absolutely. It was the Kamikaze kid that cost Trevor Lee the championship back in December. Trevor would go on to capture the championship 
in the month of February in the end of an era title match classic against Roy Wilkins, 104 minutes that nearly 15,000 of you have checked out online. We thank you so much for that. Trevor Lee goes to the ankle. And, you know, as her arm oh, oh, he popped the knee, the ankle, and Lance Lute is hurting bad. Man, he just wrenched that thing right out. Oh, Lute is screaming. Nothing illegal, though. Just aggressive wrestling from the champion. And we normally see Trevor go after the arms, but he has made point to go after the flyer's legs. That's great thinking on the part of Trevor Lee, as everything that Lance Lou does that is centered around leaping, jumping, running, it, he's gonna be basically immobilized all those high-flying tactics. He's got to think of something else here. Right, and we saw two weeks ago he faced Jesse Adler, and honestly, another title classic, another high flyer. But he knows he's in a different situation here. There's a lot of variables when you're facing a Lance Lude these days. Yeah, absolutely. Trevor Lee and Jesse Adler, an instant classic. If you have not checked that out, episode 48 of CWF Worldwide a couple of weeks back, check it out. But yeah, a, a similar opponent stylistically, but a totally different game. Trevor Lee, you know, ever since he won that title, he's got an even bigger chip than usual on his shoulder. He wants to show that he is the man more than ever before. And this is a young man that was always motivated for, by, and just living to show that he's the man. And Lance Lude is dangling. I think fair to say there's a pronounced power edge for the champion here. One of the strongest men in the Mid-Atlantic. Woohoo! Yeah, pound for pound, there's very few stronger than Trevor Lee. He almost fed Kamikaze Kid his teeth. And we normally see Trevor Lee trying to slow things down. Lude, I don't think he's trying to slow it down. I think he's trying to figure out what the hell to do. Watch this, dude. Hey. Right here. Right here. Trevor Lee looks like he's gonna take it to the mat. He's giving what the referee's position almost. He looks like he's doing a tornado drill in elementary school. Lude is approaching cautiously. Trevor Lee is giving the challenger the advantageous position and he slips right out. Right back to the referee's position. Got to give it to him again. Not really Lance Lude's game on the mat. No, I mean, he's a decent mat wrestler, but he is a he's a speed wrestler. He's an exceptional risk taker. And maybe the most important thing with that style is he knows when to take calculated risks. That, that Trying to hold on. Oh, dearie, dearie, dear. And going to the chancery was a good idea, but it's not working. The champ is walking around with Lude. And sets him outside. Lance Lude is frustrated. And Trevor Lee is definitely using that strength edge in this match. And he's got Lance Lude flustered. What is Coach signaling for on the outside? That's Was he telling him to steal second? All stars regrouping once again on the outside. Trevor Lee waiting on the challenger. Lance Lude approaches, oh. but the champ is too smart. It is a case where... Are you trying to take advantage of me? No. Side headlock from the champ. It is a case where you got... We saw it with Adler, you want to charge in on Trevor Lee, but you got to respect his defensive game so much. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you can't be the fool that rushes in. Oh, God! Oh, he heard that. Oh, my God, the sound echoed throughout the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium. Uh-oh. Oh, God. He almost had a shaking baby there. And back to the mat, Trevor Lee. God, what a spin drills on him. It's like high school wrestling training. And mocking Lance Lude. <laughs> he has got Lance Lude completely off his game here. These two have had classic battle after classic battle. 
throughout CWF history, but they have never faced off for the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Championship. And ever since Trevor Lee got a hold of that championship, the one title that had eluded him for all those years, he has taken it upon himself, he has made it his mission to legitimize that championship even more, to raise the awareness and the prestige of that championship. He wants to be in this ring, in this room, wrestling for 30, 45, 60, 75 minutes. He wants to produce as many classic matches in this venue, in this ring, in this organization as he can in the time that he has left with us. Because the sky is the limit for this amazing young athlete. Absolutely, and we're we're just happy that the rest of the world gets to see what we've been getting to see for the last five years. And again to that leg. And Trevor's made it the point to say that anybody he feels like deserves a title shot is gonna get one. Yeah, absolutely. And he was so fired up earlier. I think the coach could have brought anybody out here. And Trevor Lee would have gladly fought him. Oh, are we gonna get a surfboard here, maybe? If he goes all the way with this, this is a sick hold. Boy, he is wearing out every part of the challenger. Trevor Lee is showing his mat game like never before here tonight. Whoa. All the way up into the Rito Romero special. Some people call it La Tapatia, but he's got him stretched out. Lute is trying to wiggle free. Oh, he got him back up. Trevor Lee will not let him wiggle free. The challenger is trapped. Oh, goodness, he's right in the face of referee Pierce. I would have given up minutes ago. Ooh. Gotta be careful with that, though. The champ has gotta be careful. Make sure his shoulders are not left down also. Right, I've seen people get pinned that way before. Oh, he is just gonna just manipulate and dissect every part of Lance Lude here. You know what I think this might be, Cecil Scott, and I don't want to be too presumptuous, but you know, part of what we do is we do try to put ourselves in the mind of the wrestlers as they're in the ring. I think, you know, Lance Lude has really run his mouth ever since he joined the All-Star. He has. He has talked incessantly about how he feels like he busted his tail for, you know, eight, nine, ten years here in CWF, oh, and nobody ever gave him the recognition that he felt like he deserved. Trevor Lee has got the challenger trapped by his own ring gear. We might see a lot more Lance Lude than we want to tonight. Kazi technically has a point there. Oh, come on. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, God. But I was going to say, Lance Lude has talked to anyone that will listen about how he feels like he busted his tail for years, never got the recognition that he was due. Uh, he, he really was kind of the first breakout outstanding junior heavyweight wrestler to come out of the Carolinas, you know, a decade ago or so. And he has felt overlooked by this newer, younger crop of wrestlers. I think this is quite simply Trevor Lee establishing dominance. This is Trevor Lee shutting Lance Lude up. Right, he has definitely shown who the alpha is here. Of course, Trevor Lee likes those long matches, and he will grind you down for 20, 30, 40 minutes if he needs to. And that's not to take anything away from Lance Lude, who's a phenomenal, phenomenal pro wrestler. No, absolutely not. It's incredible that the champion has had the advantage for this long. But sometimes, some guys just have your number. There's no way around it. Yeah, these two have had some classics, but quite frankly, Ooh. Trevor Lee has won most of them. Yes, he has. And this is a different Lance Lou than, than Trevor Lee has faced in the past. This is a Lance Lou that's a lot more calculating. He's adopted that all-star smarter, not harder mentality. Matter of fact, I don't have the Grant Sawyer record book in front of me, but Trevor Lee might have won all of them except for that historic No Limits match. Where right, Lance Lude finally captured the Ultra J Championship. Where he flew out of the, the Eagle's Nest above us here. Absolutely. Uh, prior to that night, Lance Lude's wins against Trevor Lee were few and far between, if any. The coach is fired up about something on the outside. And Lude, it looked like he was about to get something going here, trying to go to the midsection. He does again. That's actually not a bad place to go. You know, these longer matches, you go to the midsection, that takes the win. 
And this is the lose advantage. Speed things up. Oh, airplane. Oh, great wrestling here. Lance Luke trying to get back in the driver's seat. Trevor Lee stays on his feet. Woohoo! Oh, it moved a little too quick. That will be the advantage for Lou. I, I will say one thing. Uh oh, hold on. Let me hold that thought. The champion is in pursuit of the challenger on the outside. I, I will say this. You know, you touched on it earlier. This is not. Oh, Trevor Lee cuts him off with the pass and dares him to cross. That is the most dangerous place in the building to, kind, to find Trevor Lee. And look at the look in the eyes of the challenger. I was going to say, you touched on it earlier, this is a different Lance Lude. I, I almost wonder if stylistically he's a little bit out of his element here. I am surprised, quite frankly, that Trevor Lee has been in control of this match as much as he has. Cecil Scott, do you think it's coming from Lance Lude having all those years of his mentality being rush right in, be reckless, to throw caution to the wind, and now with the coach trying to slow him down, trying to encourage him to implement the style of the All-Stars. Do you think maybe this is Lance Lude maybe showing us that he has not quite adapted to that yet? He's not quite sure what to do out of the gate if not dive in face first. Absolutely, and I've got a great comparison here. Yesterday was the birthday of one of my all-time favorite fighters, Arturo Gatti, who throughout his career was known as a blood and guts, all-heart fighter. And then he got a new trainer one day and tried to become a boxer. He tried tried to fight technically and his career it, it took him a long time to get going with that style he hit a few road bumps he lost to guys like Floyd Mayweather and it took him a long time and Lance Lude could definitely be in that same position I think that's a great analogy Lance Lude has had tremendous success and has wrestled 10 plus years 12 plus years of his career with that reckless style. Throw caution to the wind. Throw your body on the line and ask questions later. With the coach having the mentality of slowing his wrestlers down, getting them to work smart and not hard. I gotta be honest, I think that has been to the disadvantage of Lance Lude here. Quite simply, he's not comfortable in that role yet, and Trevor Lee, is, is eating his lunch right now, quite frankly. Right, Trevor Lee's not a guy you want to go into a match with to try to find yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a match you need weeks and weeks of prep. God, he just building the Kernersville for crying out loud. Is this a strategic misstep on the part of the coach? If I'm the coach, honestly, I probably would have tried to get Kazi in there. Not to take anything from Lude, but Kazi maybe just a bit more suited to such a short, short notice match. Well, I think Kazi has adapted more to what we were talking about. Yeah! That, oh, that philosophy of work smart, not hard. Speaking of Kazi. Kazi has adapted to it. Well, swing and a miss. Oh! He just kicked his brains to help. Ray Kazi's bell. Trevor Lee is running over all the All-Stars. Lance using his quickness. Yeah, he, he seems to never lose that quickness, no matter where you're at in the match. No matter how much of a beating he's taken, Lance going to the top rope. Cross body, no, he got caught. Not enough weight. It's happy. Put him down. Chappie got it. Oh, Luke tried to sucker him in and it didn't work. Trevor Lee is all over the challenger. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, great thinking on the part of the challenger. Trevor Lee ate the buckle. Oh, and he went shoulder first into the post. And one thing that has not changed about Lance Luke, no matter how much you beat on him, no matter how much you think he's done, he always finds a way to get himself back in a match. Yeah, it becomes to the detriment of the fans' enjoyment now that he has aligned himself with Coach Gemini and the All-Stars. Right, the, the mentality is the same. He just goes about it in a different way. And the coach doing a number on Trevor out there. He hit hard on the floor. It was face and neck first into the buckle, shoulder and neck first into the post, and I didn't quite see what landed on the floor, but he's been down for about a minute and a half now, and prior to that, you could barely get the champion off his feet. Well, it's a concrete floor, it all hurts. Positively so. We talked about the adjustment of Lance Lude. Adjusting to this new style, the All-Stars, it was really once the All-Stars got involved, but this thing has finally seemingly turned in his favor for really the first time. 
Right, it's a lot easier to try to implement a game plan when, you, when you've got an advantage. Bodies of the All-Stars are all over the floor. Coach is climbing on the buckle. Champion and challenger fight on the floor. Lude clubs the champion from behind. And we're starting to see the confidence return to the face of Lance Lude. That was a great camera shot. We're starting to see the confidence return to the face of Lance Lude. We're starting to see that swagger come back in the step of the challenger. Lance Lude has never short on confidence once those lights are on and once he's in that ring doing what he can do. And we are starting to see that swagger return in the challenger step here after a rough opening go of it here. Absolutely, and especially once he gets cooking, his confidence grows and grows, and once he gets going, he is hard to beat. He's a lot like, it in a, in a, it's kind of a strange analogy, but he's a lot like Eric Royal in that yes. sense. Royal is like that runaway train that you just can't stop. Lance is more like, you know, uh, the speed car that you can't catch once he gets going. Right, it's like you see a Porsche going downhill but he is not so much the Porsche right now. He has adopted a more brawling style here. Shot to the gut. And you don't want to get in a position to trade blows with Trevor Lee. But again, right back to the gut. Now, I actually like that strategy. Trevor Lee looking dazed. I don't know how hard he hit that post and that floor. Cover. Not to mention, just catching an elbow to the back of the head there. Yeah, he, he's been rocked a couple of times. And when, when, he, when, when he or the cameras reposition themselves, uh, I want to try to get a, a shot, a look inside in, in the eyes of Trevor Lee. They're glazed over. They're more dazed and confused than we are accustomed to seeing the champion. He may have really got his clock cleaned here. And no matter how good you are, anybody can get caught. Positively. I mean, you can catch a blow to the head. You can get rolled up. Anything can happen. It's almost like the old gunslinger days. No matter how good you are, there's always a faster draw somewhere. Woo! Great defensive wrestling from the champion, Lance Lude, hard, hard into the mat. And Cecil Scott, we've talked about it countless times. You want to try to manipulate your weight as best you can. You want to try and land as flat as possible. Lance Lude landed just about all tailbone on that one. Yeah, and that's uh, not how you want to land. No, he jams it right up to your spine and throws it right to the buckle. Great defensive thinking again from Lance Lude. And thus far, defense has led to offense for Lance Lude. Totally different matchup than we have ever seen before from these two amazing professional wrestlers. Much more methodical. Lance Lude Oh, not wanting to make a mistake, and he's still favoring that leg. And that might have been a mistake right there. Trevor Lee is so smart, as soon as he gets his hands on somebody, he takes out something big that that person will have to deal with for the rest of the matchup. Right, and that leg, it takes a long time to get the feeling back in the leg after it's been worked on like that. Trevor Lee just about destroyed the leg oh. of Lude for the opening moments of this contest, and Lude is going to the outside. Trevor Lee just about destroyed the leg of Lance Lude for the opening moments of this contest, and I think you're right, Susan Scott. I think that was a mistake. Lance Lude going to the floor, clutching that leg, that leg that Trevor Lee picked apart early in this contest. Lude is in the fetal position and hurt on the outside. He is at the champion's mercy once again out there. And working on a leg like that early in the match, it's like you put money in the bank and it draws interest for the rest of the match. That's exactly right. Trevor Lee, oh dear. Oh, the dream. Oh, dropped him on his head and neck. Two. I mean, we saw it when he wrestled Wilkins. He went to that arm for the first portion of that match, and it really paid off later on. Oh, STF! Dead center of the ring! STF! And Lance Lude has given it up! Lance Lude has given it up! That leg, that injury inflicted early on by Trevor Lee has befallen Lance Lude here tonight. Champion retains, and Cecil Scott, the game plan of Trevor Lee, second to none here. Yeah, rather definitive win there. He had a game plan, and he stuck with it. After all that punishment, the body of Lance Lude simply gives out. Trevor Lee stands tall this week on CWF Worldwide. 20 minutes, 24 seconds. Your winner by submission. Retaining the CWF Midland Heavyweight title.